I know you say you don't really care about records or milestones, but now that you have that record, what does it mean to you? Uh, I mean, kind of feel good just to get it out of the way. I mean, in the beginning, I was kind of like, wasn't really worried about it, but once it happened, kind of just everybody being around me, congratulating me, just kind of feel good. Does it make it even more special? It's on the anniversary of the, uh, the big catch in the championship game? No, I, I ain't never think about that. You spoke last week about wanting to play because of momentum, um, but Nick obviously chose to rest most of the players. What do you feel now having played in the game? Is, is that something you think will be beneficial for you? And then what do you think about his decision overall? Um, I mean, Whatever the coaches decide, I mean, I'm going to go with it. But, I mean, like I said, kind of momentum thing. Just want to go out there, you know, stay in the routine that, that I've been doing the whole year and just, you know, keep keep getting better every day. Did Nick say before the game to you that he wanted to get you that record thing? Um, yeah, that was, kind of, that was kind of the thing the whole week. In your college career, you, you stepped up in, in big moments. Playoff football, what's the, what's the significance of, of that? Say it again. Well, what's the significance of, of that for you? Uh, I mean, it's big. I mean, it's, it's big because it's the next game. So, I mean, you, you play to play to continue. So, I mean, just go out there, get a win, continue playing. Uh, I mean, that, that's been the goal the whole time, getting to the playoffs and, you know, try to win a win it, win it all. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it's all about. So, I mean, we didn't come this far just to stop now. Given your history in, in big games, do you think you're more prepared for the playoffs than some other rookies might be? Uh, I mean, a lot of us have been playing football all, about, all our lives, so it's kind of just like we've been here. A lot of us have been here before, whether it's in college playing for conference championships and things like that. Um, a lot of us have been here before, so it's just like you treat it like another game, just the way that you approach it and things like that. So what's it going to take for this team to make a run? Um, just keep doing the things that we've been doing the past few weeks that, that got us into the playoffs. I mean, just focus on getting better every day, 1%, doing the things that we've been doing. Um, nah, it, it was just, just you know, normal things. I asked you uh, this past week about goals you set for yourself for this regular season, your first in the NFL, and you said you wouldn't uh, say anything unless you accomplished those goals. Did you get them? Um, no, and honestly, th this record wasn't one of my goals because I really didn't know nothing about it. Um, but no, I didn't get my, I didn't get my goals. Was it a thousand? Yeah, that was one of them. A couple more. We'll get How hungry right? does that make you that you didn't get to the goals you wanted to? I mean, it's my fault I didn't get there. I left a lot of stuff out there early in the season. So just, you know, keep doing what I'm doing this year, finish this year out, and then, you know, get back to it. Now, could you have uh, talked Nick to staying on the field to try to get 1,000? Um, no, that wasn't going to happen. We've seen you, we've seen you three games. Uh, with the whole year without getting a touchdown, but he scores a touchdown the final couple of minutes. What was that like for you guys? I mean, it, it was big. I mean, that's something we talk about every week. I mean, just joking around, just him being like, man, I got I to gotta touch that paint this, this week. So, I mean, we always joke about it. Um, happy for him that it happened. What do you think of the, the impact that the rookie class has had this year? Man, when we first came in here, we came in here with a full head of steam to be, be great, you know, to be the best rookie uh, class to come through, you know, and we all, like, during camp, and we just tried to work hard to, like, to be the best. So we came in here, we did our thing. You guys have been productive. I mean, do you take pride in that as a group? Yeah, for sure. Um, just working hard, just doing our thing, you know, being smart, you know, taking everything that we learn from practice into the field, you know, is the best to do. It's been a while since you carried the load of the game. How did it feel to kind of have this big bulk team workload? Man, it felt great. I mean, it felt great to me, you know. Um, this is what I've been waiting on, you know what I'm saying, to get a chance to show a lot of things, you know, and, and just be myself and go out there and attack everything that I learned from during the week and just go out there and attack. You guys had a lot of success uh, on the ground. What, what were some of the runs that were working against Dallas's front? Uh, basically just inside zones, outside zones. We just, you know, following our blocks, you know, trusting in the O-line and doing everything just possible we can to, like, get them yards. What do you expect from the playoffs, the atmosphere, the, the level of competition? Oh, it's going to be – it's going to be – High atmosphere, you know, but we gonna try to come in next week and try to put in our best, our best to like try to come in one and zero. Now, for those of you who play but don't start, what do you get from a night like tonight where you get more playing time? 
Uh, it was a, a great experience for the guys that really haven't got a chance to be on the field, you know. But, like, from, from myself, you know, it's a chance to get a, a more workload. You know, it's just great experience to go out there and just ball out. Eddie, we noticed uh, in practice that you've been joining us, the wide receivers, you know, in some drills. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you notice about Devontae, you know, he got sweet feet, you know. He he's smooth with it. He do everything as possible to like just be the best receiver, you know. And he work hard each and every day. Nick, he just complimented uh, how you played today. How would you assess your performance? I mean, I, it's all right. I mean, I got I set a different standard for myself. So what you see is just like a just a little piece of what I feel like I can bring to the table. But. Uh, I think it, it, just, it wasn't good enough. It was okay, but it wasn't good enough to, you know, come out with a win. So just trying to get better and get ready for next week. You got a little pushing match there with one of their linemen. I think 78, what, what was happening there? Man, it's <clears throat> just football, just football. You know, tempers flare. Uh, it's just, that's all it is. But uh, I guess I got to keep my composure a little bit so I won't get a penalty and hurt the team. But, you know, sometimes uh, tempers flare in the game, so just got to get better with it. What is that standard you set for yourself? What do you expect? What do you to be a difference maker. <clears throat> Every time I come on the field, be be a player that uh, the coaches trust to play any position on the defensive line and make plays when the plays come to me. It's, it's really it. Just go out there, be a playmaker, do my job, and uh, come out with wins. Talk about how long the season can be for a rookie. Uh, how do you feel like you're playing going into the playoffs, and how have you been able to I think uh, experience is the best teacher. Uh, so just going going throughout the year, you learn more and more every week in practice. You know, meet with your coaches every week, and you try to focus on little things in your game to improve. And I feel like I, I've done that this year. I started off a little slow, but like I said, experience, you come with it, and you just learn, <clears throat> learn more techniques, learn the terminology and the language that they're speaking and things like that so you can get a tail on like what's coming. So just trying to continue to get better. All the potential opponents have, have top quarterbacks. What's it going to take for this defense, this defensive line to stop a top quarterback? Just go out there and, and, and do your job. You know, I, we get paid to, to go affect the quarterback, stop the run, hit the quarterback, and get them off his spot. And just, just go out there and do us. We got the guys on the D-line to, to go out there and do that with Fletcher Cox, uh, Hargrave, Sweaty, DB, you, you know who we got. So we just got to go out there and be us and let the results show what we can do. How valuable was this experience for you? I mean, not only playing more than you have, but, you know, against their first team, you know, their first you know, first team starters and all that, you know, getting that guy press gun. No, I think it was definitely good good experience for me. You know, I played the first time we played. I actually played a lot of that game versus those guys. So, just like I said, you just get those snaps every week, especially going against like the starting unit. As far as long as we did, just I think that's going to be a big thing. Just learning, learning, learning how they block and what they like to do and tendencies and things like that, and try to move forward. Playoffs aren't easy to make. Uh, what does it mean to you to make the playoffs your rookie year? And uh, what did you learn along the way? And I don't know. Making the playoff is big. Making the playoff is big. It's actually like a goal. I kind of – not a goal like for myself, but that's something I wanted to accomplish my rookie year because they say a lot, not a lot of people get to do that. But I feel like the biggest thing is just being consistent, coming in for practice, make sure you stick to your routine, practicing hard, and then coming to the game and be consistent. Do your job and let the players come to you. Don't, don't go out there chasing plays. So that's, I think that's the thing I learned the most this season. Do you work on batted passes or is that instincts? <laughs> no, nah, I don't really work on this. This kind of just instincts. If I feel, <clears throat> I feel how alignment is kind of setting, like it's quick game. It's, this is like another thing I said, just from playing like throughout the year, you can tell when they're trying to like jump set you or kind of like wait, and you know the ball coming out. So I just try to get my hands up and affect the game.